guys welcome back it looks like 50 cent is getting a big no a huge reward for helping to take down diddy you do know his efforts were key to the success of the operation and this recognition reflects his valuable contribution he is set to launch his first ever residency in Las Vegas, marking a major new chapter in his career. 50 Cent has signed an impressive $15 million deal for a series of six shows at PH Live Inside Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino. So this residency is expected to be one of the largest hip-hop residencies in Las Vegas history, okay? The residency will kick off in December with performances spread across a few weeks to give fans plenty of chances to catch him live. One of the main highlights will be an exclusive New Year's Eve show, a special celebration presented by 50 Cent's own spirit brand. And mind you, this guy doesn't even drink, but okay. It is titled 50 Cent in the Club. The residency promises to deliver an experience unlike anything he's ever done before. While fans can expect a fresh approach to the show setup, they'll still get to hear all of 50 Cent's biggest hits, including fans' favorites like In the Club, Candy Shop, and 21 Questions. So they're saying 50 Cent's residency is set to be a memorable experience for both longtime fans and newcomers alike. So yeah, this is a huge, a huge reward a Vegas residency, six shows for $15 million. You have to understand, 50 Cent stopped rapping, stopped making music because his album stopped selling. His albums were no longer selling. People did not care anymore about his music. So that's why he stopped putting out albums because they were no longer selling. So for him to receive this Vegas residency, it is very telling. It is clear that he's being rewarded for helping to take down Diddy. As you know, Netflix is producing a docu-series from 50 Cent about charges of SEX trafficking and racketeering, as well as sexual assault and violent abuse allegations against Diddy. And um, Alexandra Stippleton is a director, and it is being filmed right now. It is in production right now. So in September, both 50 Cent and Alexandra had this to say. This is a story with significant human impact. It is a complex narrative spinning decades, not just the headlines or clips seen so far. We remain steadfast in our commitment to give a voice to the voiceless and to present authentic and nuanced perspectives. While the allegations are disturbing, we urge all to remember that Sean Combs' story is not the full story of hip-hop and its culture. We aim to ensure that individual actions do not overshadow the culture's broader contributions. 50 Cent said that the proceeds from the documentary will be used to support sexual assault victims. Yeah, that's nice and all. But here's the issue that I have with 50 Cent. 50 Cent is pretending to be like an advocate for victims. You know, want to help victims because of this whole Diddy situation. But did you know that 50 Cent is still friends with pedos? 50 Cent is still friends with monsters, demons in Hollywood. Yeah, how are you advocating for victims all because of this Diddy situation? You guys used to be friends at one time. I don't know what happened. Maybe I'm guessing it's because Diddy was pimping out his baby mama. Diddy was pimping out Daphne Joy, 50 Cent's baby mama, who was exposed as one of Diddy's escorts, okay? S-E-X workers, okay? This is why he doesn't like Diddy. This is why he, he has his foot on Diddy's neck. 
But 50 Cent, you're not a real advocate. You're a fraud because a real advocate is not going to pick and choose. You want to expose Diddy, but yet you're friends with people that are just like Diddy, if not worse. Listen to this. I was going to, I've been meaning to do a video on Sylvester Stallone, okay? His demon. Let me calm down. I'm getting really, really upset. I'm getting upset right now. Okay, so I've been meaning to do a video on Sylvester Stallone for a while, you know? You know, I'm like, okay, when I have time, I have to do two videos. One on Sylvester Stallone and the other is Bruce Willis, right? Bruce Willis, okay? Because these two are not good people. They are evil. They are bad people. They are bad people, okay? Especially Sylvester Stallone. So I haven't had the time to do the videos, right? But I'm still going to. I'm still going to when I get the chance. So, guess who congratulated 50 Cent on his Vegas residency? Freaking Sylvester Stallone. Talking about congratulations to my good friend, 50 Cent. <laughs> you kidding me? Hello, everyone. I'd like to give a big congratulations to my good friend, 50 Cent who will be doing his residency first time in Las Vegas starting in December. Don't miss it. You're the best. Keep punching. Are you kidding me? So 50 cents. I don't have 21 questions. I have one question. How are you down to expose Diddy, but yet you turn a blind eye to your other pedo sick friends in Hollywood answer that question because see if you were a good person if you are a true advocate you wouldn't just pick and choose 50 cent you would not pick and choose you are disgusting as well and you better pray that your closets are clean you better pray that you don't have any skeletons in your closet 50 cent because all of you guys are going down Okay, all of you guys are going to go down. And it's a promise. What's done in the dark always comes to light. There is nothing covered that will not be revealed, nor hidden that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have spoken in the dark will be heard in the light, and what you have whispered in private rooms will be shouted from the housetops. 50 cent. Okay? So... You don't pick and choose. You call out evil. You don't pick one because one did you wrong because you're no longer friends with one, but yet you turn a blind eye to the others. No, 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 no. That's not what we do. That's not what we do. So I don't respect you, 50 Cent. I, don't re I can't respect you when you're friends with people like Sylvester Stallone. That guy is wicked. You hear me? Wicked. So 50 Cent. You better be clean because the devil is a lie, okay? All these things that he promises, lies. He's a liar. He will reward you and then he will take it back. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Curtis Jackson. So yeah, I will be doing... The Sylvester Stallone video. Um, it's going to be an angry video. So I'm going to have to pray before I do it. Because that guy. That guy is wicked. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Like right now I'm like getting angry. I'm getting so angry. So it's time for me to go. <laughs> but yeah. Um, you guys, thank you. Uh, leave your comments in the comments. Uh, thank you for the support. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.